Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and today I'm being joined by Mega Brain 6100. And what are we doing today, Mega Brain? We got a box of it says rescue foods. This is Japanese stuff. Rescue foods, and you can keep it for up to five years. There's three different types in here. There's a beef curry with cooked rice, and then there's a beef ball, and then there's a beef stew. So three different types of curries, I guess. Yeah. Single meals. Okay, and we're gonna be eating three of them between the two of us. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Because you're he's a pretty big uh, rice eater, which I am not, unfortunately, but, but I, th I think we can do this. I haven't even had breakfast yet. In fact, I just got back from Hokkaido. There'll be a blog on that. Okay. So these are also the, um, the same one as the MREs we did. Yep. The instructions are all in Japanese, so Mega Brand's gonna be helping us out for this episode of the Eric Mealtime Show. Looks very similar. Okay, you do that one. We've got water here, incoming. Two waters. And a fire extinguisher, just in case things get out of hand, we can put out the fire. So I don't know how long this is gonna take to heat these up. What does it say? The the, mil the US military ones were like 15 minutes. We almost Seven, didn't have enough time. 20 minutes. Oh jeez, all right. <laughs> Gyudon, which is perfect, I love Gyudon. So the rice comes like this. Pretty simple. And this is what needs to be heated up. Right, that's the beef. This is the heating unit. So how does it work? You pour this into this bag, right? It's different from the, the US military ones, right? Yeah. You just pour it in. This is actually easier. Excellent. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Where'd you, you get that? This thing first. Where'd you get that? This one? Oh, in here? Yeah. Okay. It's cool. I'm, so, I'm glad that it's different because that makes it a little more interesting. Yeah, it says, do not eat, do not open, do not burn. Note the burn. It says, note the burn. That's a new catchphrase. Note the burn. And then this stuff, right? Not yet. Not yet? Yeah. But I'm glad I brought you along. <laughs> that alone is not going to heat it. You have to put this first. What, both? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. So you get the stuff loaded up first so you don't get it all over your hands or whatever. Makes sense. Okay, beef ball sauce and, and the rice ball? Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna put the liquid in to activate it. Yeah. Got it. Way to go, Japan. I think this is easier than US military because that was tough. Hey, you're supposed to fill <laughs> yeah. it up to this, you fill it up to this little line that's like way down at the bottom and it's just, you can hardly even see it. So I'll, I, of course, fill up the, half the bag. Ready? Okay. Is that just, that's just water. Because I brought tons of extra water, but it seems like we're not even going to need it. And it's already heating up. You feel it? Yeah. Well, oh, look at this smoking! <laughs> we seal it? Yeah. You seal it and lean it up against something? You got to go fast on these things or you're going you're gonna to pay. Oh, okay, and there's a little air hole at the top, right there. Okay, so just lean it up against something. I wonder if it's gonna cook evenly though, you know? I mean, it's, well, it's gonna bottom up, I guess, right? Yeah. Sizzling. Would you guys like to see the Glee Club uh, circle? Is that what it is? <laughs> They're pretty good. Yeah. This is hilarious. Yeah, we're just having a little campfire out here. <laughs> it smells really good. I'm smelling. What are you smelling? I, I smell this stew one, I think. Yeah. So what'd you guys think? Glee Club. There's another Glee Club with guys. So I'm kind of curious how they're going to sound. Five guys. And there's the one girl. So yeah, five. that's pretty cool. You can keep these for five years, huh? Yeah. And they're, they're calling them, once again, rescue foods, not MREs. So Japanese rescue foods. And there's several different types of these. I went on the internet 
and was doing some research. So there's, there's some that you add water yourself, which was what I was prepared to do, but this one you don't have to. That thing is sizzling. <laughs> this food is gonna be so hot. We're gonna have to let it cool down for 20 minutes after it's done. Price for these is, was 3,358 yen. So they're like $10 each, a little less than 10 bucks each. I'm worried about that one. <laughs> that one. I think for, for rescue foods being that you can keep it for five years, I, th I think it's worth a bit of a premium, right, that you can store it. So, okay, we're gonna start with dessert. This is incoming. In Japanese, you say, don, don. That makes the sound when it comes out in front of the camera. These are called Every Burger. And these, mostly you get these from a vending machine. They're hard to find in like supermarkets and convenience stores and stuff, but in vending machines, they sell these. About $1.50 and they're little, little hamburgers. They're not hamburgers. They're little snacks. Hamburger snacks that look like hamburgers, but they're cookies with chocolate with sesame seeds on top. Hello. Huh? Not bad, huh? Look at that. Look at that, huh? Go ahead. Grab one. Two or three if you like. Oh! <laughs> a little bit of wind. Go ahead. Mmm. Mm. Need something to drink. <laughs> like in a hurry. But I love the packaging, right? Yeah. Because you can put it back in the box. I mean, like that. And then you can save them. Pretty nice. Total cost about a buck and a half. Every burger. And these are going in the new batch of snack packs that we're putting together maybe tonight. Because I have to go pick up the boxes. Yeah. I ordered a bunch of the, the plastic boxes. And then um, we'll put this, we'll buy the stuff and then put all the stuff in. I'm going to the supermarket tonight to get all the stuff. So it might be a late night of assembling snack packs. Now what are we doing? <laughs> You know any good tricks or puzzles? You have some pretty good banana tricks on your channel, actually. Yeah, I think it's time for a shout out for Megabrain6100. You guys should check out his channel because he's got he started his own channel where he's making his own videos. I helped a little bit, but mostly it's his stuff. He's in a competition with his brother, the dude's got it, to see who can get the most subscribers by the end of 2019. And the winner, check this out, the winner is gonna get ten thousand dollars and it's one of my patrons that's put up the money thank you johnny roadkill yeah he's got he's already ahead of the game because he's got more subscribers already for some reason and he's already oh he's already got two videos up so there'll be a link up above his head go check those out and the dude's got it's putting his first video up it's probably up by now because this video is coming out like later so go check them both out subscribe to whatever whichever whoever and uh, may the best man win. Good luck to you. Yeah. Do you think you got this? I think I you think got, you got it. it. Yeah. Okay. And it's interesting because they're in different countries. See, so the dude's got it's in California going to college. He's 22. And then Megabrand here is he's 18 and he's going to college in Japan. So there's a different. And you're gonna are you gonna speak English in your videos or are you gonna, Japanese and with subtitles or whatever? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Either way for you guys, is that alright? If he decides he wants to speak in Japanese because that's his native language, then we'll, we'll put subtitles, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's cool too. Like if you want to do storytelling or something. Yeah. This is taking forever. <laughs> I need water. Fortunately, there's water. There's water in here. You see this? This is, this is pretty cool. We got this at the base. It says, No sushi, no life. And which is kind of true, I think. You gotta have sushi. This is from the Atsugi base in Kanagawa Prefecture. <laughs> it's like hot and cold water. It was, it's kind of mixed because <laughs> the bags are resting up against it. Ah. You want some? Yeah. You know, if you guys didn't know any better, you'd think we were at a school or something right now. 
but we're actually at a forest hanging out behind Mr. Matsumai and the Glee Club members. Hello, Mr. Matsumai. It is time. Everything has been cooked. It's been, it's been in there 20 minutes. Okay, 18 minutes. <laughs> Close enough. You open that one because it's got this, it's got the heat. I'll open this one. <laughs> the fire. The fire. Okay, so since this is curry, I guess the rice comes out. Did they give you like a pot holder or something? Or maybe use the Oshibori. Yeah. <laughs> this is the trick to not get burned, I think. Okay, rice out. That's not too bad. And I've got the, this is the beef, beef stew one. Which is yours? Beef curry? Yeah, you got the beef curry? Beef curry, beef stew. <laughs> it's a little bit dicey getting it out of the thing, but, right, because it's foil, right? It's made of Right? Rice. Okay, so it looks like this. Standard sticky rice. All right, let's pour in our curries. Question's gonna be, is it hot? Question is, how does it smell? Take away, <laughs> this is amazing. That's, smells that's really good. good. Beef curry. Too standard. Yeah. Standard. Different. They're both different. Ooh, it's thick. Oh, look at the chunks of beef. Oh, dude. Dude, look at this. <laughs> this is serious. Okay, so. But pour all. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there's not enough room. Okay, save it then. Yeah. Okay, so the beef stew here is a spoon for you, spoon for me. Look at the chunks of beef in this thing. This, they're not fooling around. This is serious. And I'm <laughs> dripping on the table. Okay, yours is a little more watery, but that's, that's pretty standard Japanese curry. Going in for the meat, stew. Wow. It's hot. And it's tender. Tender meaning, you know, soft. Yeah. No. Mm. Mmm. It's getting stuck in my teeth, like right away. How's the rice, though? How's yours, by the way? It's pretty standard? Yeah. Yeah. Mine's tender, too. Yeah. Okay. Are there chunks of beef in there? Yeah. And there's also, there's potato and carrot in mine. And we should swap here. All right, in a minute. I mean, this is, it's on par with like restaurant curry, I would say, right? Yeah. It's up there. I was thinking it would be more watery and just whatever kind of stale, but this is, and the rice is good too. Mm -hmm. Sticky, it's not, it's not wet. Mm -hmm. Let's swap. And look at how much fast he eats. <laughs> now you can tell he's he's more Japanese than I am. He's halfway through his. But we still have one more. I'm gonna open that right now, I think, right after this. Ooh, this one's a bit more beef jerky-like. Yeah? It's tougher. Like little pieces of steak. Yeah. 
And the curry a little more watery. This is pretty thick. Yeah. The sauce. But I mean it's good for sure. I like it. Let's open the last one. Mm. Sizzler. Let's see if you can pour it out with your or just pull it out with your bare hand as a test. Because you should be able to. Right? If it's a survival foods. You can. You can do it. It's not that bad. You can't. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but it does come with those the, the little towels too, so that's a hack, right? You can definitely use these. I think. Okay. So they're all three beef. I mean, this one's beef bowl. Three beef curds. I thought we maybe been, it'd been nice if we had a chicken one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next time. I mean, I just there's so many different types that um I, I don't know for some reason I don't know I just didn't get a chicken one, but this was a set of us all beef ones. I think maybe if you get a different box, you can get all chicken ones. Maybe. So work on that. I'll work on that. All right, number three. Gudon. This might be the best one. All right, whiff it. <laughs> Not much smell, really. I don't know. I don't know. But it's got all, look at all this meat. Look at, check this meat coming out. It's got strips of meat. There's water coming out right there, but watch this. Watch this. You don't, look at all that meat. You know what I mean? And what is that? Those aren't onions. What is that? What, what do you call that? It's konyaku. Yeah, ito konyak. Ito konyaku. Yeah. Okay. Let's do. We'll work on this one together. Okay. Go right in for some meat. It's thin strips of meat. This is the gyudon part. Look at that. Just like Yoshinoya or skia. Get some meat on there. Okay. Got it. Mmm. Oh. I think I like this one the best. Yeah. yeah that's like the real beef bowl, right? You agree? Yeah. And then second, probably the stew, because there's just so much meat. Like it's a chunk of meat on there. That's just... And then third, just the basic curry. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, rescue foods, rescue food curry. What do you think? Where are you going to rate it on the one to six mega brain head scale? I'll give it a six. He's going full six. Oh, Shazam. <laughs> because. Because you like Japanese food a lot. Yeah. yeah. This is what you eat probably three times a week. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's good. Good staple food, right? Anything over rice. Myself, personally, um, I'm about... 90% vegan, so the meat on top of rice isn't really my... I don't really eat much carbs at all. Considering that it's rescue foods, I'm going to hoard some of this stuff for sure. You know, in case there's a disaster, like we get a big earthquake or something, I would could eat this every day. Yeah. Easy. So, it's not quite a six, though. I mean, it's, it's a five and a... It's a five. I give it a five. But since he gave it a six, that means we're giving away snack packs. Hello. What do they have to do? I forget. <laughs> I say it every time. They have to, you leave a comment down below for your chance to win. Go check out his channel. In fact, leave a comment on his latest video, all right? Could you guys do that? Because I'm gonna choose two winners from his channel on his latest video. It's probably gonna have something to do with a banana. No, it'll be, you'll have <laughs> new stuff by then. But his banana ones are cool too. So just comment on his latest video, okay? There'll be a link to his channel right up there. So I'm choosing two winners from his channel, and I'll choose one from my comments right down here below on this video. And the winners will be announced in the next Eric Meal Time. So you just got a major shout out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna earn this all on his own anyway, though. I can, I can feel it. Yeah. All right, so we gotta get back to lunch here, and then I got a class starting up in about three and a half minutes. <laughs> what, what are you doing for the rest of the day? I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Nice. Must be nice. To just, you're gonna eat all this food. That's what you're gonna. You're gonna get rescued. Okay, guys. So that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we shall see you in the very next episode. Salutes out. Uh.
I've got a riddle for you. How do you escape from a room with no doors or windows? There's only a table and a mirror in the room. Here's how it goes. You look in the mirror, you see what you saw. You take the saw, you saw the table in half. Two halves make a hole, you crawl out the hole, and you're out. <laughs>